What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Gotti, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, I'm gonna do my review on the USC Spring Game. Before I start, hit that like and subscribe button for me. That way you catch all my content when it drops. And let's start it off. All right, USC, you know, used to be a powerhouse, no longer a powerhouse. Really, they've been an embarrassment. But there's a lot of expect. Well, I ain't say expectations. There's a lot of hope for people for USC this year. And there should be. I mean, you got Kenneth Slavis coming back, and I mean, he's looked decent throughout his career at USC. He's had his ups and downs. I mean, nothing great. I haven't seen nothing great from him even in the spring game. <coughs> but he's decent enough. Jackson Dart looked really good, and whether he somehow ends up becoming a starter this season or not, the future is bright for USC at the quarterback position because Jackson Dart looked great. Miller Moss looked decent, pretty good. So they'll be able to go through this year learning, getting reps and all that, and then next season, offseason comes around, they'll be able to battle it out. Right now, of course, I say the edge goes to... Uh, <clears throat> Jackson Dart, but regardless, it's 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 a good look for the USC in the future. For running back this season, I feel like it's kind of a weak spot. I mean, you got Keontae Ingram that's coming in, and I feel like he'll definitely become the number one starter. Worst case scenario, he'll be the number two in rotation behind Stephen Carr, but I feel like Ingram is the best bet to have as your number one back. Stephen Carr looks the same. I mean, he's not bad. He's nothing really great, but he's not bad. He's a solid bet. But it's not running back position is not a strong point for USC this season. But the wide receivers. You know, of course you got Brubakoy, who's going to be Brubakoy as long as he can stay healthy. KD Nixon has transferred in. He looks He's looked good throughout the spring. <clears throat> he could definitely probably earn a... a Earn a role in the rotation, maybe even be a full time starter. Gary Bryant Jr., of course, he's had injuries. We'll see how uh, he does from that. But Drake London has had a great spring. You know, normally at the slot, he's moved to the outside, moved around, moved to different spots. So clearly, he's elevating his game and getting better. And that's a great look for him. Expect him to have a major uh, impact this season. Then Michael Jackson the third, he's looked great all season. I could definitely uh, see him playing. So look for that freshman to be on that field making plays for uh, USC this year. Offense should be good for the most part. The line, I mean, I wouldn't say it's all good. It's all strong, but I don't think it's garbage. Cortland Ford will probably be uh, a starting role at left tackle. And then uh, freshman Jonah, was it Monning, 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 however, however you say his last name. Whether he starts day one or not, I expect him to uh, come in as a, as a freshman and uh, earn a spot in the starting lineup. Or at least stay in rotation where he's playing, multi, you know, meaningful snaps every game. As for the defense, I don't think there's no problem really with the front seven. I mean, there's a list of names here for the front seven. Was it Jay Toya, Dijon Benton, Jamar Sakona, Ishmael Sofer, who transferred in from Bama, Tuli, Tui, Poo, Lotu, whatever. Then you got Drake Jackson and Corey Foreman. Those are just some names. Like, the front seven is going to be solid for USC. Defensive line is going to be the strongest part of their defense. Secondary is where the question marks are at. Of course, I feel like, you know, maybe not week one, maybe not week three, but throughout the course of the season, them boys playing together, they're going to get a lot better, of course, and I feel like they'll do a good enough job. Chase Williams should probably be coming in starting. Isaiah Polo Mao or whatever his name is, he'll be playing. Chris Steele, of course. Josh Jackson Jr. 
I feel like those guys in the secondary unit, they'll be able to do a good enough job. So overall, I mean, I don't think hopes or expectations should be too high for USC, but I think it's in the making. Like, I, I feel like USC has a legit shot at winning the Pac-12 this year. Of course, you know Oregon is going to be the one that you're going to have to battle with for it. But you're going to have to take care of your division. You're not going to be able to slip up. You can't slip up to no fucking Arizona State, no UCLA, UCLA's. You can't slip up to nothing in your division. And they're going to have to progress, you know. So I think it's really all going to depend on that offense, how the offense uh, clicks. Slovis, more than likely, is going to be the key. I don't know if I'd say that he'll be able to make it happen to win the Pac-12, but they got the talent. They got the roster. All they got to do now is just put it together. But y'all make sure y'all hit my like and subscribe button. That way you catch my content. I got a few more uh, spring game videos to do. And then it's back to prediction videos. And I'm also going to do a video on uh, playoff expansion. How, how much you should expand it. If you should expand it. Why you should. Why you shouldn't. And uh, thinking about uh, doing a fan video for... Uh, do stars matter? Five star, four star, three star, two star, one star, no star. Do they matter? But make sure you hit the like subscribe button. It's your boy Code Gotti, and I'm out.